Go on. Do you have to make those revolting noises? What revolting noises? You sound like a Disgusterosaurus. What's a Disgusterosaurus? You are. Now, either stop eating those sausages... But in, like, in between snack snack. ...or go and eat them somewhere else. All that slurping and chomping is making me feel sick. Oh, all right. All right, I get the point. Honestly, a while I fuss over a few sausages. One of those simple pleasures, really, a sausage. Isn't it? I'm not doing anyone any harm. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> that wasn't me. Oh, it's suddenly gone really cold. Ha, a sausage. That'll warm me up. Avoid and quit my sight. What? Oh, most pernicious sausages. My loathsome form offends me mightily. <laughs> What's the matter? A ghost! A ghost! On the stage! A ghost with my sausages! For heaven's sake, what's all the fuss? Oh, it's just silly sweet. Silly? He imagines he saw a ghost on the stage. Sir Rafe Fanshaw! What? Sir Rafe Fanshaw, the theatre ghost! You mean Sweep wasn't making it up? Sweep, dear, you didn't by any chance have a sausage with you, did you? Well, well, yes. I was just having a little something before elevens is. And well, that's what will have made him manifest himself. You see, poor Sir Rafe has a pathological fear of sausages. Ever since he was buried alive beneath a mound of sausages flung at him by a critical audience, he was performing the title role in the famous Victorian melodrama Sir Pink's Willoughby and the Sausages of Mystery. He'd just reached the bit with... Sooty? What? Where did they go? Sweep? Is this a sausage I see before me? The casing towards my hand? Out! Out, damn porker! Out, I say! <laughs> oh, thank you, my boy. You have no idea the repugnance I feel for sausages. Here, allow me to present you with these tickets for tonight's show. It's the least I can do. Tonight's show? But that was probably about a hundred years ago. Yes, I suppose it was. Still, no matter. If you would care to accompany me... I could have sworn I heard them. Scampy! Sooty! <laughs> Here we are, just in time for cutting up. Wonderful. And what are we going to see? Well, I'm afraid it isn't anything terribly cultural, but it's the summer season, you see. We have to play to the masses. It's the Fanshawe Follies. A variety bill. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the incredible Mr. Thunderclan. I'm about to perform a truly death-defying and dangerous act of dazzling, daring and... D and... D d um, stuff. <coughs> ah, uh, this is Mr. Thunderclap, the human bomb. He gets into that box and blows himself up. Isn't that a bit, well, dangerous? I wouldn't know. Uh, this is his first performance. I have already placed a quantity of the highest of explosives known to the scientific world inside the combustion chamber. I then climb into the combustion chamber, like, like so. I close the lid. I take the detonator button in my right hand and... What does he do for an encore? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the amazing Astoundal and his assistant, a lovely Ethel. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Now, hey, and a 
suppose you could do better, eh? As a matter of fact, we could. Well, Sooty could. Couldn't you, Sooty? Well, in that case, Mr Clever Trousers, come up here and show us how it's all done. Now, then. Well done. Bravo, Really, really clever. How do you do that? It's a trick. It has to be a trick. It's not a trick. That's proper magic, that is. <laughs> a mouse! Oh, 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 I hate mice! <laughs> a mouse? Ooh, the cheek. <laughs> well, do just stand there. Do something. Well, I don't know, do I? You made it appear, now make it disappear! He can only use that thing once a day. Well, we can't wait till tomorrow. Ooh, my toe! Get rid of it! Do something! Whatever it is you're doing, put that clock down and do something about the elephant. I think he's got a plan. Well, whatever it is, it doesn't look much like an elephant capturing plan. Has he ever let us down before? Yes, exactly. What? <laughs> trying to hypnotise him. You are feeling very sleepy. Your eyelids are growing heavy. You want to sleep. Sleep. You are going to sleep. To sleep. Have you done it? Have you got rid of the elephant? It hasn't actually gone. But at least he won't be causing any more trouble for a while. <laughs> I always wanted to be a hypnotist. You are in my power. When I count to ten, you will wake up and imagine you are a... You are a... A sausage. I am a sausage. I am a sausage. Oh, it's a giant sausage. It's come to get me. Oh, help! It wasn't my fault. All I said was... All right, so it was my fault. I am a sausage. I am a sausage. Sweep? Where are you? I haven't finished telling you about Sir Ray Fanshawe. So? Scampi! What is that? I am a sausage. I am a sausage. It's an elephant. Sooty hypnotized it. It thinks it's a sausage. I must have a talk with my doctor. The sleeping tablets he prescribed are giving me the weirdest dreams. Yes. Well, a reminder for lovers of the bear that tomorrow at 10 to 4 here on CITV, Rupert rides again.